Penny Benjamin is, um, she's actually mentioned in the first film. She's someone that, um, that, uh, has had kind of on again, off again relationship with Maverick over the years. It started the first time when they were quite young. Um, and I get the sense that they, they sort of come together. They have this sort of fiery romance and then falls apart, but then they keep coming back every, you know, they sort of keep coming back to each other. Um, she has, they have some, some things in common in that she's, um, she's a racer herself. She's, uh, she races sailboats. Um, and, uh, but when we meet them in, in this film, they're at different points in their lives. Tom is a, is someone who gets things done, you know, and he's very positive and he's very, you know, he's, he has a lot of enthusiasm for what he's doing and wants everything to be the best. And I think it's what makes this, what made this film, the original film and what makes this film so special is that you're seeing people doing extraordinary things and you know that they're really doing it. And that's kind of amazing to see that. And not many people can offer that. And he has done that consistently over the years. What I also really loved about this iteration of the movie is that there's also a scene on the sailboat where Penny is in charge of the vessel and she's, she's driving, she's at the helm and he's completely out of his element. Um, and I love that. I love that. And I think it was important that, um, you know, she has that agency and that strength. I think it was important to call back to the original film in the way that the original film was also kind of nostalgic in its own right, just for kind of a time in history and a version of America. Um, and that kind of character, that kind of promise of sort of everyone's vibrant and fit and, you know, people take chances and go their own way and, and it all works out, you know. Um, people are making their own destiny and um and it's incredibly optimistic and um so i think it even the original was was kind of a nostalgic film um and this i think is as well and also does have those um, callbacks to it, which i think are important because it's it has become an iconic movie it's really fun it's really um, atmospheric and vibrant and um, it feels like a place where you know good friends come to hang out and have a great time it's just very alive and um, full of music and good cheer and uh, and I think that Penny's spirit is kind of part of that you know she has a very positive spirit I feel like she's someone who you know is one of those people that no matter what comes at her, she has a great attitude about it. Um, I really like that about her. I think the film focuses on the camaraderie um, of this kind of, of um, experience more than combat. It's really about, you know, the teamwork, um, the families, um, the relationships. Um, focuses very much on the relationship between um, Maverick and um, Rooster. I think he has the technical skill and temperament that are really, that really are suited to this kind of epic scaled film. You know, he's able to have that kind of vision and oversight and skill and ability to, I mean, it's such an undertaking. Um, and he's really focused on and really able to, to focus on um, the human dynamics and relationships and interactions that make them matter. The character himself, I think, is a at this interesting point in his life where he's saying, am I 
relevant still? In what way am I relevant? And how do I fit into the landscape now where we are? Um, I think that's sort of an interesting angle to take. Um, and I think that the, the journey of him and Rooster is really rewarding and, and, um, and moving. Um, and I think that for people who are fans of the, um, the flying sequences in the first film, this is like another level. It's pretty extraordinary. I think it has all of that that the original had, but it's just sort of amplified, you know? I think that um, in terms of what they're able to film and flying sequences, from what I've seen so far, it's just so impressive and it's so much more, it just, you know, it's that much more impressive knowing that they're really doing it. And how many people are really doing that these days, you know, and it's, gotten to a point where it's so much easier just you can do anything with cg but he's actually you know tom is actually up in those planes and they're choreographing those sequences and it's really it's really you know kind of extraordinary <laughs>